Hey Kings of Dragons, Dragon King 551 here. Today I bring you another breakdown video for the Michigan Wolverines basketball. This is not a very good team. As I've stated before, it's okay to admit when your team is not uh, on par with the season. They need to put in the more athletic guys. I don't see Jones being that great this season, and I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, we just got to turn this season around. We are not a very good team. This is obviously the game against Minnesota. I will be breaking down the stats, and then I will be breaking down the uh, video highlights. Let's go right into it. I don't really have a lot to say here about this game, as it was an atrocious performance, losing by 10. It wasn't the worst thing. We did get shell shocked by UNC, but come on. We're 6-4. and four. Make a make a stand here. Come on. The Minnesota Gophers, really? So they have Jameson Battle here with 27 points. Um, Peyton Wills with 17 points. Luke with 14. EJ Steffens with 13. Pretty much I'm just going to go through that. I'm not going to go through all their other stats and stuff. Let's just go right into these guys. Mosa Diabate, 7 points. Uh, Hunter Dickinson, 19. Eli Brooks, 12. Caleb Houston, 8. Jones, 14, Frankie Collins, 5, Brandon Johns Jr., 0. He's very struggling, and Williams had 0 as well. Let's go right into the stat line here. The field goal percentage is 47.3, 51% for them, basically. That's not too different. I mean, but it's not the um, – it's a 4% difference, so very terrible. Three-point shooting, terrible for Michigan. They need to figure out how their three-point shooting is going to get better. 16.7. 33.3 for them, Minnesota. The foul shooting, uh, 69%, 63%. I'm just rounding up based off those numbers. So that's a very 60% difference. Total rebounds, 34, 28 for them. So we have more rebounds, but we still lost the game, which was a very um, interesting stat. I don't quite understand that. Seven offensively for us, five for them. Two assists, 12 assists. Two assists and 12 assists. Uh, one block, three blocks. So we, that was interesting. Two steals, zero steals for us. Four turnovers, eight turnovers. Again, the turnovers were pretty bad, but at least we um, got out of that double digits scenario. 17 fouls, 14. So I don't know what really went wrong in this game. It just did not pan out the way we wanted it to. Let's go right into these highlights because I have nothing better to say about this game at the Chrysler Center here. Let's go right into the first half. There we go, Jones. Nice right to Houston there. And a turnover. Terrible passing. Thank you, Houston. You stink. Eli Brooks, good defense, but just able to get a nice shot by Minnesota there. Let's see. Jones goes right in. A nice scoop layup. That is just fantastic um, ball movement there. Gives it right to Hunter Dickinson. He coming around. Eli Brooks comes right there. Ooh, Eli Brooks struggles, but he still gets a nice mid-range shot. Terrific. Let's see. Hunter Dickinson. Good defense there. Diabate. Yes, a nice block by Diabate there. I like the way he plays. He's got a nice motor. I believe he's going to be a really good um, player in the next two to three years. Let's see. Jones. What's he got here? Okay. Goes right through two guys and still gets a nice good layup there. So I don't know what really went wrong here. I mean, I went through the stat line, so I, I don't know what really went wrong. Jones, good defense, but I think he got it and won there. So they tried their best, but foul. Let's see, nice screen there by the Minnesota center. Spins off Brooks, and that's just a good spin away um, shot. Let's see. Uh Goes right out to Brooks. Oh, a pretty good deep three. Yes, sir. That is in. I am very surprised that that went in. But, hey, it was a good shot. Eli Brooks is, has a good um, motor. He's a very strong player. He will be going to the draft probably next year. A nice three by Minnesota there. Diabate bringing it up. Come on, bring up with the speed. I'll slow down there. Uh, Brooks. Oh, a nice scoop at layup, and it rolled nicely in there. Hey. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I'm sorry, that was a skyhook layup, not, not a scoop layup. Boom, Diabate says, not today, sir. Get that shit out of here. My goodness. He's got some good blocking. 
Goes right to Hunter Dickinson, a nice pass for Caleb Houston. Goes right inside those two guys, a beautiful pass there. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, a foul caught him jumping and went right into his body. 23-26, Caleb Houston. There, and now it's 26. So, um, Hunter Dickinson. Oh, good D, but better offense, as I've said before, that it will happen occasionally. Let's see. Who's that? Nunez? I can't tell what number. I can't. I forget who, number 10, what he is. Oh, good sh shot. That was actually a pretty good defense by Diamante. They're a good effort, but just a good shot by um Minnesota there. Come on, give it to Caleb Houston. Or actually give it to Diabate so he can get a nice shot there before the time expires. 36-32 going right into half. We'll go to the second half now. That is fantastic. Let's see. So you get a nice shot here, obviously, by um, – this is actually a really good defense right here, um, kind of in his way. He's not – he's going to be able – I probably will be able to get it over him, but it's still pretty good defense by Hunter Dickinson. I mean, not – yeah, Hunter Dickinson there. So, obviously, that is pretty good. But still able to get it over him and get a nice shot in. Regardless, there's still good defense, but sometimes it's better offense. Now we got Diabate, and he's moving, and a good shot by Minnesota. Hey, I'll give credit to Minnesota. Minnesota had really good shooting going on with their three-point shooting and everything else in between. Diabate, good defense, and just a good three by Minnesota there. I mean, 39, 36. Uh, let's see, Jones, I don't know where he is going. Okay, a nice good drive there, and I believe that was an and one, so that will be 38-39. If he gets it in, it will be 39. No, he missed um, like the fool he is. Here we go, nice drive. Oh, a nice rejection there. Unless that was a foul. No, it was not. Um, I think it was just a rejection out of bounds. Ah, Hunter Dickinson um, slowing down with speed there, just able to get it to them. We need a tie shot, but there is 15 minutes in the game, so you don't need to get extremely desperate. Jones, nice, good shot. Only be down one. See, you don't need to be desperate and stuff. I apologize for these stupid ads again. Luckily, I can skip the ad this time. So, yes, there will be problems like that. Oh, good, a good D there, and somehow it rattled in, though, for Minnesota, which I'm very surprised about. I think it was goaltending, though. They gave the goal 10. So now we're down four, and now we'll be down seven. Yes, we are down seven with that three. So we are down seven. Look at that delay, though, on the scoreboard there. Come on, boys. Get the scoreboard. Oh, a nice scoop underneath, to double defending. That is a good shot. I cannot deny that's a very good shot there by on Jones. But nonetheless, he needs to be better. I, I think he's a, a turnover machine. He turns over the ball way too much. Nice going, Jones. Now we're only down three. But we still lost this game, so I don't know why I'm getting I'm getting too overhyped about a game we lost. But nonetheless, there are good shots regardless. Johns Jr., good defense there, but better offense. I cannot say anything that doesn't really see here goes Johns Jr. again that's just like a push off I don't know why they didn't call that that should have been a push off there you can see he kind of pushes it back uh, uh Jones gets blocked there oh hit the deck oh get after it oh my goodness and, and that's just horrendous 51 45 down six Brooks he's He's six one, but there are just guys that are taller and able to shoot over him. So it's going to happen. Let's see. Caleb Houston. Oh, wait. Go right to Eli Brooks there. It's up. Nice three. There we go. Brooks has a good motor there and a good shot. He's a good arc to his shooting ability. Oh, bullying Brooks again. He's, they're like, when he's not a big man, you can't guard me. Down seven. Oh, but Brooks. Finds number 10 in the corner there. Number 10 gives it right to Hunter Dickinson. A nice, great pass. He, he can only do so much, Hunter Dickinson, and he, the other guys can only do so much. Whoa, hello, a little push off there. I saw that little action. He was pushing. So I, I don't know what that was about. They should call that one too. I don't like how they 
a good shot there by uh, Minnesota. Now we're down 10. I don't like how they let them play too much. There are times where the coach is like, let them play, let them play. But there are times when it's like, come on, call that. Uh, 60 to 50. Let's see. Okay. I mean, they were able to get it. Jones, are you right? Look like he's stumbling a little bit. He looks like he's injured. This is probably where we just cannot play well. Come on, put it up. Oh my God. And then, and one and, and one 64 down 14 down 17. They're just blown, getting blown out at this point. Or no, I'm sorry, down, down 16. Okay, Diabate, nice shot. Uh, Hunter Dickinson, where are you going to go? Oh, Caleb Houston, good three. Nice three there. Down 11, but hey, okay, actually not down 11. Let's see, Brooks goes in, gives it to Hunter Dickinson, spins away. Oh, and I think it had one there. Yes, sir, that is a nice shot there. Be down six if he makes it. Yes, down six. See, they did cut this lead back, but nonetheless, I mean, they got it back up to eight. So no matter what they did, Michigan, there was still, oh, a nice shot there. There should have been an end one, though, on Brooks there. He got a lot of contact. This is where the game ends. Pretty much that's the end of the game. I don't really have any more to say about it. I'm just going to end it there. I don't know what our team can do to make improvements. What I do know, though, is that our team needs to actually do something better. I just don't know what it is. Uh, our team's not playing. Um, there's no – the thing is with our team, there is no heart. There is no defense. There is no offense. Last year, there was a lot of heart in our team. There was a lot of stuff. Yes, there's no Wagner, there's no Livers, there's none of that. That's okay. That is the part of recruiting. Recruiting is your biggest point to make your team better. And if your team is not better, your team is not going to win games. Always, like your team was good last year. Now it's time to make your team just as good. I think our basketball team will be all right towards the end of the season. Right now, there are still a lot of games to be played. I'm not extremely worried. I will not start freaking out until mid February, middle of the month, late, late February, early March is when you got to start freaking out about your team. Because at that point, either your team has enough wins and enough um, ability to carry themselves over into their conference um, playoffs. And then after their conference playoffs, they have the chance to carry themselves over into the March Madness National Championship playoffs to get into that. That is when you got to start freaking out. Because I do not see Michigan being a top team right now in the March Madness tournament. You guys let me know down below. That's all I have to say about this game. So until next time, guys, remember to stay radical. I'll see you the next one. As they say in the big house and in Michigan, go blue and may the odds be in their favor for the next couple of games.